All right, in this example, we are going to be tackling question 245 and we will see it combined a little bit of everything with respect to the transformer. So let's read the question first. Question 245, a transformer is used to supply a 12 volt model train with, with power from a 110 volt wall plug. The train operate at 50 watt of power. Okay, so before I go on to read part A, B, C, and D, we need to correctly identify each piece of the information over here. So let's start at the beginning. A transformer is used to supply a 12 volt model train. So generally, the train is the consumer and will be on the secondary side. So what we are seeing saying here is that the secondary voltage is 12 volt. We are also told that the the voltage supplying the train, the initial voltage is 110 volt. That will be the primary voltage. Now, by the way, uh, we use VP and this is the reason why in the book they use V0 instead of the peak voltage when they are talking about the, alter, uh, the electromotive force in alternating current circuit. Um, VP is used for the primary voltage on the left side of the transformer over here. It's 110 volt in this case, all right? Volt. And note, that's probably worth uh, specifying, it is in voltage RMS. Now the v reason why we use the voltage RMS is because when we are dealing with transformer, it is often important to take in term of power and energy consumed. So when we uh, have the value in RMS, it's easy to uh, do the computation. Now to solve this problem, there's two main uh, formula, and actually for any problem involving the transformer, there are two, there's two main formula. First, the formula linking uh, the voltage on the secondary side, um, the number of turn on both sides, and the primary voltage. Also, we are always dealing with ideal transformer. Ideal transformer do not lose energy, in, in other words, the power on both sides will be equal, and we know that power is equal to voltage multiplied by the current. So the voltage on that side multiplied by the current will be equal to the voltage on that side multiplied by the current. Now note, if one side has a, a voltage twice higher, that means it's also as a current tw twice lower. They both balance out, they are equal, all right? So I'm gonna erase uh, this clarification over here and we are going to be solving part one, uh, part A, B, C, and D uh, in order. So part A, what is the RMS current in the se secondary coil of the transformer? We were also told the last sentence of the description, the train operate at, at uh, 50 watt of power. So the power on that side is 50 watt. So we can right away figure out um, the value, well, actually, if the train is operating at 50 watt, this is all has to be also 50 watt, which means that this formula will be equal to 50 in this case. So what is the RMS current in the secondary um, coil over here? Well, we got the voltage over here. So we're looking for IS, it will be equal to 50 divided by VS, which is equal to 50 divided by 12, and I think it's 4.166 amp. Let me just confirm that I got it right. Yeah, that's it. Okay, um, now let's solve part B. What is the RMS current in the primary coil? So same logic, really. It's equal to 50. Now this time we use obviously uh, the voltage on that side, so 50 divided by 110, one, uh, one, 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 we get a current of 0 0.4545 amp. Okay, so by the way, this is uh, part A, this is part B. What is part C? What is the ratio of the primary to the secondary turn? So the number of turn. Um, basically, we are looking for NS divided by NP, the ratio between them. So NS divided by NP is simply VS divided by VP. So 12 divided by 110. It's equal 
equal to 0 0.109. Now this value is, might be a little bit hard to visualize. Let's, um, okay, we don't. I'm gonna erase the diagram basically, I want to continue on that part. It might be easier to visualize the ratio of the number of turns if we flip it. So let's say we have NP divided by NS instead. And basically it's one divided by 0 0.109 and we get, I think it's 9.2. Let's just make sure. Yeah, so 9.2. So that means there's a uh, 9.2 time more a uh, loop in uh, the primary coil compared to the second uh, secondary coil. So let's say uh, if we have in the secondary coil, we have 10 turn. Well, that means in the, the primary coil, we will have to have 92 turns, all right? So these two follow exactly um, the ratio of the voltage basically. All right, so now part D, what is the resistance of the train? Well, basically the resistance of the train, we, we were given the, the power. We don't really need this. So I'm gonna erase all of this, I need more space. Okay, so for part D, we want to find the resistance of the train now, we know that the power is equal to 50, 50 watt. It is also equal to V squared divided by R, and this is a secondary voltage. Um, we know that it is 12 volt. So it is 12 square divided by R. So basically, R is equal to 144 divided by 50, which is equal to 2.9. All right, so the question involving transformer are not too complicated. I decided to do that question because it combined all the concept we need to talk about transformer, at least the ideal transformer. Um, and also the, the way the question is framed, it's not obvious which value is which, so I wanted to make sure we solve that one. Now, I'm not gonna do the other uh, example for, uh, for the transformer section because I think they are really straightforward. If you have any question here, uh, let me know. I'm gonna spend more time solving uh, the big um, grid question. These questions will take a long time to solve. So uh, let's tackle these in the next video.